Over the next few days, Natalie started to look for a job. Because she had worked as an agent at an entertainment company in England, she set her sights on media companies for her job search this time around. But when she started looking for work, she began to suffer setback after setback. Eventually, after being rejected multiple times, she started to become suspicious. Then she suddenly thought of Nick. His family, the Barnards, was powerful. Natalie suddenly understood. She was on the verge of breaking down. Liam took his mother's hand and said with a firm expression, Mommy, don't be unhappy. I will always be here with you. Seeing him so well behaved, Natalie broke into a rare smile. At that moment, her computer pinged. It was an email. She had been accepted. But when she read the attached documents, a trace of disappointment flashed across her face. The company was on the verge of closing down. Uh, Letting out a long sigh, she decided to go over and take a look. In the CEO's office of the Claire Group, Bryce sat upright in his chair. His assistant was reporting to him about the performance of the various companies under his control over the past six months. The assistant secretly glanced at his expression. "Uh, Mr. Claire, at the moment only Star Entertainment is losing money. Bryce still didn't show any emotion. He held up Star Entertainment's financial report and read it. If I remember correctly, I handed this company over to Howard to manage. His assistant nodded. Howard Clare was the son of Bryce's second uncle. He spent his days idling around with the young models. Naturally, Bryce understood the truth. Have him come here immediately. Not long afterward, Howard Clare arrived at the office. Uh, Bryce, you were looking for me. Bryce raised his eyebrows, sneered, and threw the financial report in front of him. What has happened to Star Entertainment? It was fine when I handed it over to you. In just a half a year, the company has lost tens of millions of dollars. And there was also news that a female artist who signed a contract was forced to leave, all because of you. His cold expression frightened Howard, who could only lower his head. I know. I work hard every day, but what can I do? Good resources have been taken away by Golden Star. So, Star Entertainment can only rely on their leftovers. Stop making excuses for your own incompetence. Without even bothering to look at the document again, he threw it in the trash in disgust. Bryce, trust me. Give me a bit more time, and I will make the company prosper. (laughs) Ha! You! It will be a miracle if you can keep it from losing money. Don't worry, I know what I need to do. I will work hard this time. Star Entertainment isn't just your baby, it's mine too. All right. I'll give you three months to save the company for me. If you can't do it within that time, don't bother coming to see me again. You will resign from the Claire Group immediately. Howard saw that the situation had turned out better than he expected. He could only nod in agreement. Bryce waved his hand as a sign for Howard to leave. After thinking for a while, he called in his assistant. Arrange someone reliable to take charge of operations and management for Star Entertainment. They will take orders from me only. Also, organize the existing employee lists. If there's anyone who can work but is doing nothing and still getting a paycheck, fire them. The assistant quickly did as he was told. Half an hour later, the assistant walked in with the personnel list from Star Entertainment. Can you please handle this yourself? I have other important stuff to take care of. The assistant nodded. After hesitating for a moment, he took out a resume and handed it to Bryce. Mr. Clare, there is a situation here. Maybe you should decide whether or not you want to keep her. With that, he sat down Natalie's resume in front of him. Bryce was surprised. This woman was just hired today. She has a wealth of experience in managerial work, and her resume looks promising. Now the company is going to be restructured. Do you want to keep her? Suddenly, he felt annoyed by her. After sorting out his thoughts, Bryce pondered for a moment and finally said, If you think she can do the job, let her stay. If not, don't bother with her. When the assistant heard this, he made an executive decision. He left the room without saying anything else. At the very same moment, Bryce thought about the mother and son. He hadn't thought too much about them over the past few days, but lately, he didn't know why, the image of them would occasionally appear in his mind. When he saw a child on the street, he would think of the little fellow who had hugged his leg and called him daddy. Suddenly, he felt like he was losing his mind. Why was he thinking about them so much? After Natalie received Star Entertainment's offer and got the job, she was quite happy. She decided to take Liam out to eat that night to celebrate. 
and out of the corner of her eye saw two familiar figures enter the restaurant. Cheryl and Nick walked in arm in arm. She didn't want to be noticed by them. She was about to take Liam and leave, but Cheryl seemed to have spotted her. Sis, what a coincidence to see you here. Have you thought about what I said earlier? Natalie sneered. She knew that Cheryl was only putting on an act in front of Nick. Get lost. A hint of disgust flashed across Nick's eyes. As he was about to walk away with Cheryl, he heard her say, I got to know that you've got a new job. I wanted to congratulate you, but now I feel wronged. Seeing that she hadn't wounded Natalie enough, she said, "Uh, I don't know how much longer you can keep your job. You might get fired in a few days. As soon as Natalie heard this, her calm expression changed a bit. Hi, I am Natalie. Want to know my story? Then download the Pocket FM app and listen to the exciting episodes of The Return Now. 